So you really have to ask that how and why did any of this happen? That's such a good question. Um, it is. You know, it's his sandbox. Yeah. This is a man who didn't start out with a lot of money, but as soon as people started paying to see the house, he had money coming in and income, and he turned it right back into the place. He did. The more people that paid, the more he built on. And he got, first he started with antiques and collectibles because that was pleasing to the public. Yeah. But then the more people that came and the more assured he was of having funding, he then got to start doing fantasy. And that's where he really excelled. He just excelled in creating his works. And his his collecting skills are remarkable. Yes. I mean, look at look at how much he collected. Yes. Yeah. Things would come here by the semi loads. And if does has anyone ever tried to put a price on what all this is? How do you? I I can't imagine. You know, there's um I've never heard a price. Yeah. But you the, never have. I've never heard a price right. for this because some of the things that were made here, I don't know how you put a price on it. Yeah. You know, some people say, well, it's just things, but others are like, well, it's a creation, so I'm not sure. Has Antiques Roadshow come through here? They have. Antiques Roadshows featured our um, displays in the circus building, our diamond um, displays, and because they were in Madison filming and they made sure they did a side trip over here. I'm sure they did. Is there a lot of press that happens here? Some, some. It's fun. Yeah. You know, Antiques Roadshow, American Pickers, yeah. music videos. Um, the 10,000 Maniacs filmed one here. Oh, they did. And then the Rock on Tours filmed one oh, here. Oh, nice. Yeah, Jack yeah. White. Yeah. It's a great place. It, it is. really is.